Okay, so now we've got the escrow uh, new model A1200, and it's got the pulsing frequencies. And I've got it set to pulsing, but only for uh, the near infrared. It can do both the red and the near infrared, um, but I don't feel like blasting out my eyeballs and putting a, a big flicker warning on this uh, video. So we're just looking at the near infrared, and we can get um, the whole waveform from it. What we can do is we hook up the Radex Lupin meter to the computer and actually there's some software that gives us like a whole oscilloscope type reading for it, which is really handy. It gives you a lot of data. Uh, you know, you can see this this uh, wave moving through. That's that's the kind of flicker wave or pulse wave. And But you can see it's it's not a perfect square wave. Because, you know, they're dealing with uh, drivers and electronics, and I think this is why a lot of people say that LEDs, you can't really do a true pulse. Because, you know, like a laser, you can do in like a nice crisp uh, square wave. But a lot of these waves I'm seeing are very weird, you know, like jagged kind of kind of ups and downs so so you kind of you know and, and again that's the on period where it's at a hundred percent and then it does some weird little drop here and then it goes to zero and then back up so that's that's the wave we're seeing in real time and then we're trying to ver verify the frequency um the, the percentage is like you know over a hundred percent because it's you know it's fully on and off um you can see it drops to zero uh, so, you know, it's kind of like flicker, and that's why you can measure it with a flicker meter. And the frequency, it says it's about 8, which is a problem. Uh, i got to see if are we focused. Which is a problem because uh, I have this set to 10. So, you know, they have different modes, 10, 20, 40. And 10, according to my measurement, was 8. Because I already noticed when I had it, I thought I had a 40 while I was measuring earlier. And uh, I was getting like 30 on the Hopo color. And yeah, this is saying it's 31. So even though this says it's 40, 20, 40. So we set it to 40 hertz. But again, just like anything else, you have to verify that what you set on the device, you have to verify it's actually being output properly like how much intensity you're getting what wavelengths are you getting you know this is just another parameter they're gonna have to measure and make sure they get it right and they are way way off right now so if you think there's some magical uh healing property at 40 hertz you know like people say about uh helping the brain or brainwave entrainment you know the the gamma frequency of the brain uh, you're not getting it. So, you know, even if you did believe you get some magical uh, healing at, at a certain frequency, if they don't actually deliver it, they don't, you know, do the quality to control, they don't test it, uh, you know, they're not checking checking the flicker, they're not checking the waveform, they're not checking, are you actually getting the right frequency, uh, you know, the right dominant frequency, and it's closer to 31 than obviously 40 and so we're we're way off here so um so we showed we were off on 10 10 was reading 8 what is 20 20 is kind of arbitrary anyway but i just said it's a 20 and what do we get when we think we're at 20 it says 15 so it's a little bit under every time can you see that 15 and uh the wave does look better it looks like a nice uh more of a nice kind of square wave a little bit rounded down here but this at least the wave looks nice but it's 15 so i don't know you know again that's like kind of a random uh frequency to be at especially when you think you're at 20 you know this this is a big problem so uh you know again whoever escrow sells to <laughs> should should be kind of concerned about this and and uh be be doing some quality control if companies you know they just trust the manufacturer the manufacturers are using solar power meters oh guess what happened everyone had the wrong measurements for intensity and now it's a big cover-up and guess what's going to happen again with with a lot of these these panels if they don't check uh the frequency more cover-ups so hopefully they do it right and this is again why i'm trying to hold the alibaba com companies accountable Give them, give them this feedback so that way, uh, you know, they don't sell to rebranders and then those rebranders lie and then it becomes a whole, 
whole cover up. So hopefully again, you know, I can be critical, but that's, that's kind of the point is you gotta be critical. You can't just sit back and let, let people make mistakes and make people lie about it and cover it up. You know, we got to stay on top of them, uh, have checks and balances and try to keep people honest. Uh, so anyway, you know, it pulses, but at the wrong frequency. So, you know, again, it's arbitrary <laughs> anyway, in my mind, you're just kind of cutting the intensity in half. Um, so, you know, uh, the the escrow a1200 is very nice uh everything else about it it's got the lowest price of all these these panels so it's got a really good price um just the uh, the pulsing's kind of kind of messed up right now so uh thanks for tuning in this was a uh, another quick short